Hey everyone and welcome back to this new series called Integrify by Hi-Fi Studio. So today we are going to dive into the exciting world of serverless computing with AWS. Now we will be exploring how to automatically trigger a Lambda function whenever a new file is uploaded to an S3 bucket. Now this here is a powerful combination that can automate tons of tasks from image resizing to API triggers video processing, file processing, schedule tasks, database operations, authentication, IoT, real-time analytics, uh, machine learning inference, chatbots, image recognition, and whatnot. So whether you are a tech whiz or just starting out, this video is for you. Now before just moving, let's just understand what are S3 and Lambda. Now S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. Uh, and here, imagine S3 as a giant secure storage locker in the cloud. You can upload all sorts of files there from photos to PDFs, documents, PNGs, raw files, CSV, and even code. Uh, so basically, you can, you can upload anything and just keep it for your storing purpose or if you are running your workflows on cloud, it can directly be integrated with any of the AWS services or even third-party services and you can actually leverage the power of this SC storage. Now here are some fun stats about S3. I thought of just including this as a part of the video because this is a this is cool trivia to know. Now starting with the storage. Now do you know S3 stores over 100 trillion objects worldwide? Yes, 100 trillion. It's a huge, huge uh, data stored on cloud. Secondly, if you, if I talk about requests, now S3 regularly handles over 1 million requests per second. Guys, per second at peak times, that's that's a lot of requests actually. And the last last figure, it's it's super crazy. Now, Amazon S3 transfers exabytes of data daily across millions of applications. One exabyte, it's thousand petabytes. And here we are talking more than one exabytes of data daily across millions of applications. You see, this is a power of S3 storage. S3 as a cloud secure storage option uh, for any of the workloads that currently you are uh, running or a part of any application. So on the right hand side, you see uh, this metric shows the durability and availability rate of S3 storage. Now, what does it mean? So AWS claims that uh, whatever happens, your data is secure uh, with AWS S3 storage. Now, um, so if you are aware of how S3 works, so it, your data is backed up or replicated into various AZs or availability zones. So even if one availability zone is down, you can still access your data from the another availability zone and that's a service which AWS provides you and that's a security that AWS provides you. I also thought of including a fun poll or fun MCQ in, uh, in, as a part of this video. Uh, feel free to skip this if you are not interested or if, or if you already know the answer but if someone is interested, you can give it a try. So what is the durability guarantee of Amazon S3 for objects stored? Uh, so I've given four options and here goes a 10 second timer. So yeah, so if your answer was C, 99.11 then you are correct. Moving ahead, now let's, just, let's understand what is AWS Lambda. Now, Lambda is like a super efficient worker bee. Have you seen honeybees? Uh, so they are like 24-7 working, whatever task which is given to them, they, they just uh, work their ass off and just get it complete, right? So Lambda is uh, similar to that. So you give it a small piece of code uh, and here we call it a function. It executes that code only when needed. And you know, this actually saves you a tons of money on servers that would otherwise be sitting idle. And you only have to pay as you go again. So whenever there's a request, uh, then and then only you are charged for the Lambda function. Again, few stats related to AWS Lambda. So execution time, so Lambda only runs for up to 15 minutes. After that, it will stop and whatever processing or uh, you know, the code which is running, if it surpasses 15 minutes of window, it will stop. Uh, on If I talk about requests, Lambda can handle over 3.5 million requests per second. Yes, it's more than SC storage, but practically we cannot do Apple to Apple comparison here. 
but yeah lambda can handle uh, more than 3.5 million requests per second code size if you want to work with lambda ide then your code overall code size should be less than 50 mb otherwise lambda won't uh, let you edit the code in the lambda console you have to upload the zip and test it somewhere like locally or some other ide before uploading it as a zip to the lambda function and uh, concurrency so concurrency is nothing but how many lambda functions can execute parallelly so by default lambda sets aws sets uh, 1000 as a, a soft limit for concurrency but anyways you can uh, just raise a service quota increase request and you can increase this limit uh, easily uh, here we are with another fun question so what do you think uh, happens when you upload a file to an s3 bucket with a lambda trigger now we haven't discussed it yet but if someone wants to give it a try here you go it depends on the lambda functions code i know uh, i'm not expecting like everyone uh, so the, the, actually the options are pretty simple so you might be able to guess the right answer but now let's just understand how this actually works but before that why linkedin now this is a big question here guys that why we are making a video of connecting this and there are thousand other people making similar videos but it all it all boils down to the understanding how how you are able to grasp the topic so let's just understand why we should link them let's imagine that you want to upload a photograph onto the cloud now if there is uh, not a service like s3 or lambda available then what you have to do so you have to write an external api call you have to set up a whole server uh, which will be monitoring the storage uh, and get detects a file whenever a file is uploaded and then running a code on that server uh, to do the post processing right but that's a lot of stuff that's that's something like i won't love to do i won't like to do so that's a challenging thing but with s3 you don't have to do any of this and in fact s3 and lambda function let's understand how things work with s3 and lambda so whenever uh, an image or a file is uploaded on the s3 bucket you set up a trigger and we will be configuring this tri trigger in the live demo in a few like a couple of minutes and using that trigger each time an upload is detected an s3 event notification is triggered now this is an inbuilt in trigger uh, which has an endpoint attached to it and in our case endpoint will be lambda function now lambda springs into action so whatever code you have written inside the lambda function it will get executed and it forms a job super simple right let's understand this with a quick demo
So this was a quick demo and clearly this is a powerful automation. Now by combining S3 and Lambda, clearly you can create a powerful automation engine. And this is just a glimpse of what's possible. And remember, the magic lies in your creative use of Lambda function. So with this, I will conclude the video. And for more cloud adventures, follow me on Instagram at ifi underscore sdio. Also, let me know in the comments below what kind of Lambda functions you would like to see in action. And thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting cloud content. Until next time, keep exploring the possibilities. Thank you.